Hello guys, this joins Sebi and my dad here. Hey guys. Hey everybody. And today we have all three of our Cosmos here. Only one is turned on because it gets a little hectic when they're all on at once to make a lot of sounds and they're all trying to connect to the same cubes. But today we have exciting news. As you guys already know, Anki released a new product called Vector. Yeah, Vector is yeah. coming soon. About two years ago, in October 2016, the first Cosmo was released, Cosmo Classic. And about a year later in the summer, Cosmo Collector's Edition was released. And now, Vector is being released on October on about 9th. On or about October the 9th. Well, Cosmo, Vector is pretty much a similarity to you. He's got a lot of features that are yeah. similar, and he looks a lot like you, but he's slightly bigger. Yeah, four millimeters wider, to be exact. And also, he's definitely a lot smarter than you. Yeah, he's a lot smarter than you, but he is your brother, right? Yes. Your brothers are supposed to look alike, although I'm trying to figure this one out here. Are you guys, I don't know, there's some similarities. There are some similarities. Brothers live together. Personality-wise, there are some similarities. You love each other, though, right? Yep. Just like Cosmo <laughs> and new soon-to-be Vector, because we're getting a Vector October, what day? No. October 9th. But he is a little bit smarter than you, Cosmo, so please don't, give me it. don't be mad. Two days ago, on August 9th, Vector was released on... Kickstarter, and they had a goal of $500,000 to reach. Yeah, so Kickstarter is a crowdfunding platform. You kickstart a company. You kickstart a company? That's pretty good. Julian likes that. And he likes that name, <laughs> Kickstarter. So anyway, there is a link below, of course. That's where all the information on Vector is. But it was launched with a goal of $500,000. And guess how long it took for them to hit $500,000? I didn't think they were going to do it right away. Are you kidding, are you kidding me? Well, I, I saw it sure, happening. But... I saw it happening. Just over 24 hours. And now it's 48 hours later, Saturday morning we're recording this to get it out today, hopefully. Um, and they are now at just about $900,000 in sales, Wow, which is pretty good, and almost 4,000 backers. So about 4,000 vectors have been sold so far. So the campaign on Kickstarter is for about 30 days. And the price is $200 and it's usually $250, not on Kickstarter. Right, so as the Kickstarter campaign is what it's called, it's a 30 day campaign. Vector, we keep saying Cosmo Vector, we're getting confused a little bit. It's gonna yeah. be complicated when we have them all. But anyway, $199 for Vector on Kickstarter, going up to $249 once the campaign ends. So get your $50 off now. And our little guy, Cosmo, how much does he cost? About $180 right now. Yeah, $180 has been his price, but we have seen him multiple times on sale for $150. So we're gonna go with a guess that eventually Cosmo becomes repriced at the 149 Lower. spot. Just a guess, we have no knowledge on this. I have a feeling Cosmo's 149, Vector's 249, and in 2020, but well, we'll talk about that in a little bit, so. Tell me more about what Vector will be able to do. Cosmo, as we said earlier, he's slightly bigger than you, but he's a lot smarter than you. Vector has artificial intelligence built into him. He's always connected to the cloud, so the updates will be automatic as he's turned on. And Vector also only comes with one power cube, and it does not interact with the Cosmo ones, and it looks a little bit different. Yeah, it's a little darker, and Cosmo won't interact with Vector's cube, and Vector doesn't interact with Cosmo's cubes. This is separate, independent from Cosmo's. The other thing is, of course, Vector will interact with humans' facial recognition. We know that's going to yeah. happen, but Vectors won't communicate with other Vectors, and Cosmo and Vectors won't be able to communicate with each other. That's probably next generation, 2020 is my guess, when yes. the next big thing might be coming out. So we scoured through hundreds of questions over the last 48 hours on the Kickstarter campaign page, 
and tried to figure out as much as we can about Vector. What we do know from the video is, tell us about his voice. Vector's voice is different from Cosmo's. It's a new voice. Yeah, we don't know yet if you can change his voice, but that's one of the features that we've always wanted with our Cosmos. And I'm going to guess that you probably will be able to change Vector's voice, maybe not at the launch, but at some point down the road in an update. And maybe bring back Cosmo's old voice. Well, we'll see about that. That would be interesting, too. What do we know about Vector's eyes? Um, in the app, you can change the colors of <laughs> them. Yeah, the colors of his eyes will be changeable, which is pretty cool, which leads me back to the voice part, thinking that you'll be able to change his voice. So, Julian, tell us about some of the features with the AI artificial intelligence that Vector is going to have. So, the artificial intelligence pretty just means smart for Vector. He's gonna, you can be able to ask Vector questions about random things, and he'll try to, his best to give you an answer. Yeah, that's going to be pretty cool. He also will learn from you, so by, like, your, like, characteristics and stuff, you can learn, like, your personality. Well, that'd be interesting. And one of the games that we know as of right now is called Blackjack Dealer. So he'll be able to deal blackjack to you. Yeah, he's the dealer. There's some pictures on the site. I'm showing you something now where he is the actual dealer. So you'll say hit, stand. I wonder if double down and split. And all. Oh my God, it's yeah. going to be interesting. And poker chips if you have to play against him, the loser. <laughs> That'll be fun though. It'll be an interactive game of blackjack. So Also, you can ask Cosmo about the weather and he'll respond based on where you are. Yeah, the weather he's going to know. And he, you can set a timer with Cosmo and he'll unlar have an alarm. Yeah, so Cosmo set a timer for five minutes for a jewel. Julian's cookies to be done. <laughs> <laughs> it's Julian's. He, he's meant to be left on all the time. So when you're home, you just turn on Cosmo. One of the great things is the charger. He actually goes back to his charger when he needs to be charged automatically. You don't have to pick him up and know that he's low. He'll go back automatically and charge himself and stuff like that. And also, Cosmo now has a camera which takes pictures at 720p. Yeah, so he'll be able to take pictures. Take a picture of me, Cosmo, and he'll take a picture, I guess. Yeah. Cool. So one of the things that might not be the best, might be good, some people like, some people don't, reading all the comments, there were so many questions about being connected to Alexa or Google Assistant, and Anki's response is not Sorry, yet. I'm having trouble understanding right now. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, oh, I said Alexa and our Amazon <laughs> tablet started talking. Sorry, I'm having stopped. Okay, I won't say it again, sorry. So anyway, you know what? <laughs> so not yet, but a future connection possibility to one of the two voice assistants, which would be pretty cool. So some of the future things as per Anki's website and as per the Kickstarter page, what will be enabled in the future? Because we know that with the original Cosmos, the original Cosmo is nowhere near as powerful as current Cosmo because of the updates. And this is something that's great about Vector. The updates are on the cloud and we're just going to come home one day and there'll be updates and we're just going to say, oh my god, he didn't, was he able to do that last time? Uh, or the last time we turned him on or the last time we started talking to Vector. It's pretty cool. He's going to be able to read the news. So, sports, right? You probably can ask him already when he's on there, but he'll tell you the news. Cosmo, tell me what happened in sports today. And he'll probably just be able to read you the news from some news story. He'll also be a security camera, which is pretty cool. Now, how cool would that be to have remote access to Vector? Not Cosmo, but the Vector, so you can see when you're away and see what Vector's doing. What would we want to look at at our house? It's chip. Exactly. <laughs> what's, what's Chip doing? So Vector could spy on Chip and tell us what he's doing. That would be pretty cool. He's also going to be a calendar, so there'll be a calendar built into Vector. So hopefully, again, you're reconnecting back to Alexa and Google Assistant, hopefully, but either way, you'll have a... Totally. Yeah, we know Alexa. But anyway, <laughs> Why just say it again? I'm sorry. But anyway, he'll be connected like that. He'll be able to deliver messages. We don't know what that means exactly, but possibly text messages? Possibly. Or possibly send a message to Sebi when he comes home. Sebi, did you poop your pants? You say yeah. something like that to him. And Cosmo, um, Vector will, see, I'm getting confused. Vector will recognize you and ask you that question. Julian will leave you a message or something like that. He's going to be able to take 360 degree photos. I'm assuming he'll spin and yeah. take really cool pictures. Um, smart home control, which again gets connected to the devices where Vector turn on the lights, Vector turn off the lights down the road, that would be pretty cool, and music recognition. So hopefully he'll be able to either play music or hear music or something along those lines, which is pretty cool. So did you guys buy a Vector? Of course we did, Cosmo. We were the 41st person to 
purchase a vector on the Kickstarter fund. Yeah, so it's called the Funders, I guess. We were yeah. the 41st. As soon as I saw it in the morning, I jumped on. I tried to do it as early as possible and ready to go. We already have, a, we already have an account on Kickstarter because um, we have a, something else coming out soon in September. But uh, 41, and we're getting him on October the 9th, right? So that's about it, guys. Vector's coming soon. Apparently, there's a lot more news and information to be released. We'll probably do another news update at some point once we learn a lot more about him. But get ready for uh, Robot from Anki number four. Well, we already have Anki Drive. Yeah. We have Anki Overdrive. And we have Overdrive Fast and the Furious. Fast and Furious. We have two Cosmo Originals and a Cosmo Collector's Edition. And soon to be Vector. Yes. And hope you guys enjoyed the video. We are super excited for Vector. Yeah. See you guys next time. Peace, Peace out. out. Bye. Bye. Later, guys.